Miss Katrina, how did you uh, get out of the, the relationships? Uh, so happy to be here with Miss Katrina. Miss Katrina, now we want to say that topic again. Say, say it the way you want to say it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to say um, I admire myself and um, I'm my own celebrity. And um, how did I how did I get to the point where, um, whereas I could tell myself that how, how I came up with um, that um, perception of myself. Um, it started, actually, um, I just learned to admire myself. Actually, I just, I just woke up and had a spiritual awakening about mm -hmm. who I, who, I, who am I? I, um, I was lost for a long time. And um, through prayer and meditation, I discovered myself. So um, who I am, I was always this person, but how, um, how, I, um, how I learned to admire myself, how I came up with that. It's like, um, I admire myself because um, I feel like um, I'm different from most most of people around me, and I don't have a very large circle. Idea came in my head: celebrities, they don't wear the same thing twice. So I decided that I was gonna buy things, and I would buy very inexpensive things, very very cheap things, and I would only wear them once a year. But I would wear them again the next year. And then what I didn't wear, I would donate it to, you know, the Salvation Army. And I would walk down the street, I'm somebody. And um, I felt good that I could do what the celebrities did. But um, a lot of people in, the, uh, in my environment, they'll go and buy, you know, things that celebrity buy, buys. And then they'll like, you know, like, like the people in the marital relationship, they would wear expensive things, but they wouldn't have money. And um, we all want to live like a celebrity, you know. And um, well, you you saw what you did is you created <laughs> you created Katrina's Hollywood, your own ce celebrity Hollywood, which I think is is cool. You did what you had to do to bring yourself up and overcome. All the things that you've been going through all your life. Um, I, I would like to say, uh, and then I'm going to turn it back over to you. A lot of times when people are beautiful um, or they had and gifted, a lot of times the uh, they don't get the support, the love, or and sometimes it could be for the very closest one in the family, um, or it could be by in a relationship. And I, I believe a lot of it comes from envy, and they want to keep you in a box but if they can help control your mind tell you you can't make it and if you believe it then you won't make it if you keep believing that so you know that's that's a i think you overcame quite a lot it sounds like to me um and as i listen to you tell the story how you bought your clothes and you know you created yourself as a celebrity uh, i think that's pretty cool that you were able to do that um and there's something else you said that you admire yourself so mm -hmm. all right so this is why i admire myself i admire myself because i'm i'm content i'm grateful for my life even though i'm striving to live a better life I admire myself that I don't go out my way to impress people. I do not do that. Mm -hmm. If somebody is impressed with me, I appreciate it. I'm content with my life. It's like, I don't, it's like, I get an income once a month and I only buy what I can afford with that income. And, you know, um, I don't go out trying to live an extravagant life. I admire myself because I feel 
good about myself without just just as long as my clothes look good i don't care who they buy as long as my clothes look nice i don't care it's like i dress according to my budget when i'm working i buy the things that i could afford to buy if i could afford i like expensive things when I'm on whatever, I live according to my budget. And like I was saying, um, people, we support these high-end designers and we are proud that we, um, a lot of us, we are proud to come out and say, you know, I can afford this expensive designer outfit. Um, you really can't afford it. I'm I'm proud that I can wear this. So you're saying that I'm proud that I can support, you know, these high in design. You you proud that you can spend your money to make them, you know, to, for them to maintain a better lifestyle than you. I'm proud and I admire myself because even though I have been brainwashed. Um, we that's brainwash. We you know sometimes we fall for that. I admire myself because I'm not gonna do it. I know people that wear they I know people that wear expensive everything and they'll come around me and they'll be uncomfortable because I still feel good about myself in my inexpensive clothes. And, and it burns, I know people, it burns them up, but um, that's not my problem. I'm, I'm admiring myself that I don't have to support these high, now don't get me wrong. I don't know if I could afford something expensive. I do go out my way to buy an unknown designer. I go out of my way to support that unknown designer. I support because how I feel when I support somebody that's not, you know, that's trying to get up because I was a nobody. I, I'm a loner and I treat people the way I want to be treated. So when I do have the money, I'll spend a little bit more on a designer that nobody knows about because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to support uh, these are like a lot of people wear Gucci and I'm glad I'm a nobody. And I, and I hope that nobody ain't listening to me because if people be listening to me, they'll probably assassinate me that well, I, we won't, let's not, let's not, let's not, let, let's wave that, uh, okay. Excuse the opinions is not the hours of, of yours and we won't call the names, but everybody knows some of these big names. Okay. Uh, something that caught my ear uh, when you were talking to me you were talking about and this is true in a lot of ways some people do live beyond their means because they either want to have a particular look or they want to say i own this or i got this expensive item and i remember you were saying sometimes that people can't even pay their bills um you they know they got to pay the electric bills coming up you know the rent is going to be due but you spent your rent money and you spent your electric bill money or your food money because you wanted to get that real expensive item. Um, and like you said, it's it's cool if you can buy it, get what you want. But if you start beginning to live beyond your means, so you're really taking away from yourself. Um, I've heard of people buying some of the most expensive cars, but they it was so expensive they couldn't pay for a house. And they started living out of their beautiful car because it, because it was so expensive, but it looked like what they wanted to look. So, you know, I guess if, I like you have, um, you think common, you think sensible, I will say. You think very sensible about, and it sounds like you're saying, you, if you get so much money, you're not going to, you're not going to spend all the money up in one spot and then don't have any, but you're still going to shop and find you some of the most beautiful clothes that you can find. You know, I saw you, saw how you dress and your clothes look nice, <laughs> you know. As you go on TikTok, you wear really nice clothes and um, 
but like you said, you don't want to live beyond your means where you don't have money to, to, to pay your rent, to buy food, or to even live a decent life, like a basic decent life. So I appreciate you for that. You caught my ear. And I just hope that a lot of people will be inspired by what you're saying, because a lot of people have gone through brainwashing. A lot of people have gone through um, emotional and mental abuse uh, from someone like in a relationship, or even like you said, your mom. Now, God, you said your mom, your dad, your family. You know, if you're you were, I guess you were saying you were you were beautiful, you were shapely, and people just was jealous. It wasn't the full fact that they hated you. They hated maybe they didn't hate you because you did something. You can't help the way God blessed you, the way God made you, God made you beautiful, God made you think differently. Um, but what I admire is you were able to to come out of all of that and be who we, you are today and sit there and talk about it. And maybe you'll help somebody else to know that they don't have to stay there. They don't have to take it. They don't have to be mentally abused. Uh, they don't have to be ver verbally abused. And they don't have to stay in a physically abusive relationship. Um, and so today, it looks like you're doing really well. Now, I do have a question. Um, How is your relationships now that you're, you appear to be doing really well? You got your head on straight. Uh, if you work, you take care of business. Thank God that you are, you have been blessed to get clean off of, uh, you know, you go to, to the rehab, but you are clean. There's so many good things in this story that's just shining through. So how is, how are you treated now? I know you say you don't really care how you're treated at this point with family, whatever, because you learn to, ignore uh negativity on you you learn to love yourself that's why you say you admire yourself and it, it takes it takes a lot of strength and god to come out some people don't come out of that so um i want to know how is your relationship now with your with your mom well london to be totally honest with you um my mom and none of my relatives, now that I don't want to take that psychiatric medication and pretend like I'm mentally disturbed, my mom really don't want to have anything to do with me. And now that um, I've discovered um, my truth, my identity, and I'm living my life being who God, I, listen, you asked me how I did things. I only thing I could tell you is that it was God, London. I can't, I can't give myself no credit. I'm sorry. I can't. God led me. It was the spirit of God. Amen. That's all, that's all I could tell you. I cannot give Katrina no credit. So, and like now, now that I'm, I'm who I am, my relatives, my siblings, it's like, it's my fault. I didn't know any better. I used to always complain how my mom was treating me. So they did not want to get in the drama between me and my mom. So they ignore me and they don't want to have anything to do with me. But if I was to ever get a relationship with them, I would never talk about what's going on and how my mom treated me. I didn't know any better, but God removed, uh, my relatives out of my life so that I could only hear him so that I won't have to I see this what's going I don't know I don't have nobody's opinion I used to always ask my relatives for I don't have nobody to answer to my relationship with is with God and my meditation so I just listen to myself so it's a blessing at first, I was emotionally, I was wounded when when they, when my siblings abandoned me, but they blessed me. God, my mom turned them all against me. You know, they was told, Katrina is crazy, don't look. Of course, that's our mom. When she told me I was crazy, I believed her. When she told my siblings, we all believed her. So mm -hmm. we're not wrong. And I love them. 
and and then the people in the marital relationship i love them and i care for them but my journey um is they're not meant to be in it and you know i i, I wish them to best and i hope i hope a very i hope the same thing for them that i hope for myself but um i don't you know they've done things to me they tried to manipulate me and hold me down so i tell my story because um uh, i know where i'm going and i tell my story about how i was abused and attacked because i don't want them riding on my success i want who wherever i'm going i don't want them coming with me you tried to bring me down so when you claim you know me when you have any attack, this is gonna be the attachment that you are going to have. Are you all the people that she was talking to? Because me, I believe in, um, I don't know if I could talk about it. God allow people to practice and manip hypnotize you and work things on you because you are a child of God. God allow things like that to happen because, and he's, and, and it only, it's only gonna work on you because you're working for God and God has a plan. God showing you, God will let people do things to you whereas they'll get so used to doing things so they'll think that, you know, they're the ones that's causing your mishap and it's not them. God is allowing those things to happen. So um, when he gets you to where you going, he's, it, to me, I'm saying it's because you trying to stop me from being a successful cosmetologist, a, a, a successful um, business um, person, but where I'm going, God going to say, well, you trying to stop, I'm going to get her there on your account. It's going to be you. It's you. You made it happen. Yeah, like so I, say, go ahead. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Because that you were done the way you were, it just made you, it just drove you to be a stronger woman. You went through it. And then another thing is, you can tell somebody else about it now. You can talk about these things and no, it's nothing wrong with talking about that because occasionally we talk about how right in the epitome of a family, uh, control, mind control, witchcraft, voodoo, and people do that to, and it's a sad thing when um, you do that to your children, and they came from the umbilical cord. It's really kind of hard to come from out of that sometimes. But you are proof that God, and I like the fact that as many times as you said God, and you give God the credit, how God brought you to this point. So now that you can talk about God, you can tell other people that they can be delivered. They can come out of a situation. Um, God brought you to the realization of what was happening. I mean, like you said, only God took you off of, you know, made you clean and making you move forward now. So um, I'm just really proud and excited to be talking to you, Miss Katrina. And um, I thank God that you have a message for the masses, for the people all over the world that can listen to you, listen to this and watch this. And probably people are going through right now. And when they hear what you had, what you're saying, you might be turning on the light where they can learn to love themselves. Like I'm going to go love myself now, or maybe they can understand that it's not me. I'm not crazy. I'm not this. But why would people tell you these things to you so they can brainwash you or so they can control your mind because they want to keep you down. They want to bring you low self-esteem because they don't want you to be successful. But all you can say is look at you now. And you have the experience, so you know what you're talking about, and you can tell others, and perhaps maybe a light will come on, and they will say, wow, you know, I see that Miss Katrina made it. Miss Katrina is uh, talking about how she came out, how God came into her life, and perhaps people, for what you're saying, it'll help people maybe even turn to God, because he's the only one, like you said, I'm listening to you, that's, that's some rough, that's some rough situations for a long period of time, and only God can pull you out, bring you out, deliver you, and then give you the kind of mind that you have now, which you already, like you said, you always had a special way of thinking. You always have been different. 
in, in a good way. You always have been, um, Lord bless you, be beautiful. And all those years, people were trying to come in and tear it down, tear you down. And what it does is if they can get to your mind and break your mind down, it does control everything other part of your life. If your mind can be broken. So uh, congratulations that God has brought you to this point where you can uh, bless the world. And it's just really a great big testimony about your life. So is there anything else you'd like to say? Because I maybe I like to call, call we, can, we can come back to some things that I like for us to do uh, that you say we might be able to do in the future. Uh, but is there anything else you'd like to say? Yes, I would like to say that how I found God, when I was looking for God, I was high. So I was looking for God. I was looking for God in the church. I was looking for God in, in other people, how they interpreted God. So I went inside myself with the knowledge that the church gave me. And I found God. The church teaches, I mean, they, our religion teaches us, we, God, I found God inside of me. I go, I go, you know, I mean, we go to whatever temple, church, to learn about God and learn how to get in contact with God. My mistake was not, my mistake was looking at other people's God. And, 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 and I wasn't using, when I was going, I was looking for him in the church and I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention when the church, you know, to go inside myself, pray to God for me, mm -hmm, to, mm -hmm. inside of me. So that would be my advice. And that's a great advice. Wow. Okay. Well, it looks like, I don't know if you know that you, you have been ministering for all this time, <laughs> but that's what you've been doing. And, um, I appreciate you. And thank you for accepting my invitation. I would really like to have you back. Uh, sometimes when you have, we both have time, we'd love to just have you back. Um, and just God bless you in your journey. And I'm so thankful to see that God has uh, brought you out to be free. This is what you call free. A lot of people need freedom, you know, freedom from whatever situation that they're in. And, um, you give God all the credit. So God, that's what people need to hear. They need to hear about God. They need to hear about praying within yourself. The spirit within yourself needs to connect with God. So you have been a great blessing today. I'm probably going to play this again. You see how long we've been? We've been almost 50 minutes long. So uh, it's been an awesome time. Um, so now, before we go, you say now that you are a your licensed cosmetologist. And you do all of this, you're, you're a businesswoman as well. And um, God has blessed you to live your own life. And he showed you how not to be interrupted. He's blessed you now not to be interrupted in such cruel ways. <laughs> so it sounds like you're living a good life and a nice life and that you're happy now. Yes, I'm, I'm very happy. I don't have... I don't have the companion because um that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking to do God's will. And um I don't I'm not financially where I wanna be, but like I said, I'm very I'm financially creative. So I got plans that I'm that are in the works right now. And I'm having fun. I'm doing what I love. We pray that God bless you and protect you continuously. Um cover you all the time and protect you from all types of things that might want to come up against you. We pray that for you and for me and all of us that's out there. We're praying for God to cut, keep us covered. God bless you, Miss Katrina. Now, I want to tell everybody, uh, thank you for tuning in. We'll be back again. Um, and Miss Katrina, I don't want you to hang up, but I'm going to um, say see you later to all the social medias and the radio right now. Uh, okay. But I don't want you to hang on for a minute so we can make an appointment to do some more things. We're, Miss Katrina is from out of where, New York? Brooklyn, New York. In Brooklyn, New York. All the way in Brooklyn, New York. And thank God for blessing you for you living the life. I like that. You can create your own Hollywood. And you are you can be a celebrity of your own. And you can admire yourself. And you can love 
yourself. Make You can make this situation happen. Look at Miss Katrina. So thank you for tuning in. This is London. I've had a great time, Ms. Katrina. Hold on. And uh, God bless you. I thank your engineer, Miss Irene, as well, is uh, helping me run this project on all the social medias. Uh, thank God for the opportunity to be able to do this kind of thing. This is this is what you call a good thing. When God blesses you to go all over globally like this, but you're doing something good and somebody can look at it. They can leave happy. They can leave inspired. They can leave blessed. They can leave excited. They can leave like, hey, I'm getting ready to change my life. I'm going to God. I'm going to pray to God. I'm going to find God. And I'm going to change my life. You are something awesome. God bless you. God bless you, everyone. Thank you for watching. Katrina is in New York. And also that I saw her. This is Willie Johnson, an ABI virtual actor. Hey, check us out. Our second radio station, LICMC2 Radio. This is Willie Johnson. Looking forward to you listening to us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for listening to LICMC.net radio. Now listen to LICMC Radio 2. We have LICMC.net and LICMC Radio 2. You can access both by going to LDWCEnterprise.weebly.com slash radio. That's LDWCEnterprise.weebly.com slash radio. Listen to LICMC Radio and LICMC Radio 2. Next time you need a sweet treat for your special event, birthdays, parties, or just a little treat for yourself, connect with Millie's Munchies. That's right. Remember Millie's Munchies. Cheesecakes, cakes, cupcakes, cookies. Give them a call or leave a message at 248-818-7290. That's 248-818-7290 or email MildredMarion56 at gmail.com. Sugar-free options available and catering in select areas. That's Millie's Munchies. Mogul Club ADI Virtual Acting Group from anywhere in the world. All are welcome. Donate and subscribe to support and access our entertaining dramas. Email londondors at gmail.com. That's L O N D E N D O R I S at gmail.com or call 248 7010885 
or 1-800-875-0674. Donate anytime at L-O-N-D-E-N-W-A. That's Cash App, L-O-N-D-E-N-W-A. Thank you for your support.